That's up. Oh snap, you hit play, you sick little bastard. Welcome to the movies that f me up. You knew this was coming, so here we are. So I told you that this movie holds a certain distinction. I'm gonna save that for later. The movie I'm talking about is 2009's Tom Six movie, The Human Centipede First Sequence. So a DVD had been flowing around work with my coworkers talking about this. Well, it turns out my friend Christine, my BFF, had brought this in. And when it finally got around to me, and she handed it to me. She told me that other people have seen this and have not been able to watch it because it was really gross and no one's been able to watch it to the end and if I wanted to see it, challenge fucking accepted. Because little did she know that I had been looking forward to this movie. I was reading stuff about it and I had heard that it was gross. Well, not heard, but read. It was gross. And all these things, you know, being banned and I really wanted to see it. So when she gave it to me, she had no idea how happy I was was. So yeah, I went home, watched that the first night that she gave me that DVD. The reason I was happy was this movie was released on super limited release. So there was nowhere that it was playing. And here she had a copy of it and gave it to me. Yeah, I was super fucking happy. The grossest movie? Why am I so sick? I fucking love it. So the movie was banned in the UK and Australia. United States wouldn't even give it a rating. So what do we got? We got gross and banned. Yeah, all in. So we meet Lindsay and Jenny who are in Germany looking for a place to party. Do you not watch horror movies? You know when you look for a place to party in a foreign country, it's gonna end up f***ed up for you. Anyways, they go ahead, try to find a place to party and on the way they have car trouble. Yeah, we'll get back to that later. But they try to find a place for safety. Yeah, I would stay in my fucking car at this point. Everything I've watched before, I'm gonna wait for the fucking sun to come up. I'm not getting out of my car, looking for a house to try to find some safety. I am staying in my fucking car. Sun come up. So they come up to Joseph Hyder's house. Yeah, so he is a doctor. If I would have showed up at the door, saw what he looked like, my ass would have turned right back around. However, in the movie, they went in and he tried to call the police to help them. However, again, that's not what he did. You see, in the start of the movie, you you get a foreshadowing to what's coming up. You see him in his car looking at a picture of his Rottweilers. Yeah, if you saw the movie, you know how they were attached. That gave you a foreshadowing to what was coming up because you see Dr. Hyder was a specialist in separating conjoined twins basket case. No, he wasn't part of that. Anyways, so he separated conjoined twins, but he became obsessed with putting species together. Let me quickly introduce you to Katsuro. He's going to come into play later on, but he's part of this story. So I just had to bring him up right now. Wait until you find out where he comes into play. So this crazy doctor came up with a way of making a Siamese triplet using the gastric system. Do you see where we're going at? Anyways, this doctor decides that he wants to come up with a way of making a human fucking centipede and by doing so you gotta watch this movie I'm not even going to get into the scientific way that he explains it because I am not scientific at all however when he does explain it it seems to make a whole lot of fucking sense and then you're wondering like is this really real it's not it's a movie I know but still it sounds like it's logical fun fact Tom Six came up with this idea when he thought that it would be good for a child molester to have his mouth sewn to a fat chuck driver's ass. That is where he got the idea for this film. So yeah, so Dr. Hyder ends up making a human centipede. Watch this movie. It's really fucked up. Honestly, it's it's fucked up. Here we fucking go. We're gonna get to the part that fucked me up, but fun fact here, Six got his inspiration for this movie from Pier Paolo Pasolini's Salo. Yeah, you know where we're going. So this is the shit that fucked me up. You're going to need a shot for this shit. Ah, bad taste. Katsuro, who I introduced earlier, had said, shit, I have to take a shit. I did not think of this part. So after Katsuro says, shit, I've got to take a shit, and then starts to pray, Lindsay figured out what is about to fucking happen, and Katsuro starts shitting in her mouth. Me? I kept watching it, because I'm 
fucked up. And as I kept watching it, in the past, I've told you guys before, I've thrown up in my mouth and I've swallowed it. Well, guess what? This time, yeah, nope, it did not happen. I literally filled my mouth up, could not swallow it, ran, got up, and hurled my ass off. This is the only fucking movie to ever have made me thrown up. I got up, threw my ass up in that fucking toilet. Then, after I was done, I went back and I realized I did not hit pause. So what did I do? I ended up rewinding it. So I rewound it. I didn't rewind it to the part like after that part. No, no, no. I decided that me, I wanted to be glutton for punishment. So at that point, I rewound it all the way back to the point that made me throw up and decided to watch that part again and still kind of dry heat in my mouth. And that was the part that me up. The moment that he started shitting in her fucking mouth. That shit was just fucking gross. And Ashley Williams, the one who played the centerpiece, man, when she acted that scene, she did amazing. Because I literally, when she was sitting there like, <clears throat> like hitting on him as shit was filling her mouth, it looked real. And my mouth actually felt like it was filling up with shit. Hence the reason I threw up. So this movie pretty much gets the props for actually making me fucking hurt. This movie is not for everyone. It For some people, it might be gross. It's a little bit too much. I'm the kind of person, I like the kind of movie that pushes the boundaries and makes you see things and feel things that you never felt before. And this movie did that for me. Like, who the fuck ever thought about connecting mouth to ass? That is some fucked up shit. I was here for it. I watched this movie from beginning to end. Did it the other day. I did not not hurl this time though however like watching it to the end and the bleak ending that this movie has this shit is a really fucking good movie so if you are into the extreme and the gross this movie is available for you to stream on amc plus until the next episode make sure you hit the subscribe button i love the fact that you guys are sick like me so join me for the next one it's not gonna be as gross i'm gonna go hit on one of my phobias and we're going to revisit arachnophobia Phobia. So until then, ta ta for now. The cheeks connect the circular mucosa and skin parts of anus and mouth.